Hello everyone and welcome to Hilti Live, bringing you more productivity and safety on construction job site. I am Akash, your digital account manager, connecting with you all live via LinkedIn and Facebook. In today's episode, we are going to discuss one of the most important topic, which is fire. And we will showcase you how you can protect yourself from fire accidents in the building. And to present the solution of Firestop. Today with us is product manager of Firestop at Hilti India, Priya Darshini. Hi Priya and welcome to Hilti Live. Thank you Akash for inviting me and thank you so much viewers who are watching this very important episode on fire safety. Thanks Priya for being with us today. Thank you. And thanks to all those who are watching us live. And like always, please keep, please feel free to ask your questions and give suggestions in the comment section below. Because we both will be making sure to answer each one of you at the end of episode. And let me start by asking you a question, which is, what do you feel is the major reason for deaths in case of fire accident in a building? Is it option A, fire itself? Option B, smoke and toxic gases? Option C, heat produced by the fire? Or option D, none of these? Let's see who gets the right answer. Let us know in the comment section below. And Priya, while they're writing, why don't you let us know that what is the right answer? Exactly, you have triggered the right point that what is the main reason for any of the fire deaths that happen in any of the fire accident. So let our viewers answer it, but I will try to hint them out. So if you will see, I will try to give you few statistics that we have understood from the Center of Fire Statistics of India. So if you will see, 44% of people who get die are not in the room of fire where the actually the origin of fire is there. Is it? Yes. Okay. 47% of people who survive the fire accident are not able to see anything beyond 12 feet. Oh, they are not able to see beyond 12 feet? Okay. Exactly. So I want to understand because it's not fire, it can't be heat. So let our viewer understand what is the major killer which is hampering the people's death in any of the fire accidents. I think you have given them enough of the hints. Yes. And now it's time to reveal the answer. So yes. what is the answer? So the right answer is option B, which is a smoke and the toxic gases. If you will see why it is, because 67% of people are actually dying of because of the smoke inhalation. They are not dying because of the fire or the heat which is going to produce. It is because of the toxic gases, which is carbon monoxide or carbon dioxide, which get emits and people inhale it and they get die. Oh, so you mean to say two third of the people in case of fire accidents yes. die because of smoke and toxic gases rather yes. than fire. Yes. That's, that's alarming. And Priya, I'm sure all of our viewers now would be uh, like assuming that they are already having these kind of fire extinguishers in their building. Then most of the time I have seen in all the buildings we have sprinklers and then we have smoke detectors. And now you tell us, are these things uh, not more than enough to prevent fire at the time of fire accidents? You know what, Akash, you have put the right question to our viewers because most of the time whenever we are constructing any building, we always think about extinguisher which is going to suppress the fire, we think about the detectors which is going to identify the source of fire. But nobody is thinking that because the question that you have asked few minutes back, the people are dying because of the smoke inhalation. Yes. So we should always think about that, okay, I'm identifying the source of fire. I am identifying that how I need to suppress the fire, but then I'm not thinking about how I need to retain the smoke and fire. So here comes a second part because when we talk about extinguisher, when we think about the sprinkler or the detector, it is all part of active system, okay. which is one parameter of the right fire protection. But the second part is all about the containment, which is from our passive fire protection. Okay, so you mean to say that to prevent fire, mm -hmm. these things are not enough as uh, like uh, your fire extinguisher, fire alarms and smoke detectors are part of active solution, whereas there is something called as passive system. So can you tell a little bit about what do you mean by active and what do you mean by passive system? So I will just simply show you a balanced approach triangle for the right fire protection. 
So whenever you are thinking about the right para stopping, there will be three things you have to always keep in your mind because you are creating a fire safe environment. So the very first part will be detection, which will help you to identify the fire source, which can be a smoke detector, which can be a fire detector, alarms. And then there is a second part, which is suppression, which is our sprinkler. We are spraying these parameter. And the third parameter will be containment, which is like containing the whole fire and smoke in one zone, depending on the fire zoning that our fire consultant normally designs. And there come the passive fire stopping. So passive fire stopping, any kind of passive fire stop system is all about retaining the fire and smoke in one particular fire compartment. Okay. And the remaining two is all about identifying and suppressing it. So this combination which we are showing here is the correct way or the right balanced approach way of doing the right fire protection system. Okay, so Priya, now what I understand is most of the time we are considering the active fire stop in which there is suppression, which we do with the help of fire extinguisher. Correct. And then there are sprinklers. Then we have our detection system in which there are fire alarms. But uh, I see that compartmentation is something new that you are talking about passive fire stop. So can you little bit elaborate about uh, what is compartmentation or how does it actually help to prevent fire? This is again one of the amazing question. I would take our viewers on a journey of compartmentation where we are going to show you that how fire actually get transmitted or how smoke get transmitted from one compartment to other compartment if you are not sealing all kind of gap where the penetrant is puncturing your wall or the floor. Let's have a look in this video. Let's see that how fire has broke out, the smoke, how it is going to get transmitted. So if you will see in this whole video, the scenario one, where I'm trying to show you, there will be a lot of mechanical or electrical penetration, which will be puncturing the wall or the floor. If you have not sealed it, you can see the level of smoke and the fire, how it is getting easily transmitted. Now, if we will see the scenario two, where we are mitigating the risk of fire and smoke in one particular compartment, we have used the effective passive fire protection, which is retaining the fire in one particular compartment, not allowing the fire and smoke to transmit to other area. And if you will see this video, you will realize that how we are effectively stopping the propagation of fire and smoke. Wow, what an amazing video, Priya. And now I am sure all of our viewers would have understood that why passive fire stop is so, so important. And how does it prevent fire, smoke and toxic gases to pass on between the penetrants on the floor and the wall. But tell us Priya, do we have any standards or guidelines in India which says that we should use passive fire stop in the building? Definitely. I will let our viewers know whomsoever is designing the building, architect, MEP consultant, facade consultant or the contractor, you should always refer National Building Code of India which has been revised in 2016 and you can look into the part 4 which clearly says any kind of penetrant which is puncturing wall or the floor need to be tested and should be providing the fire rating and hose stream test as the system selection parameter. And whenever you are going for any kind of joint sealing, it can be the top of all joint. You need to always think about the system which should comply for fire, hose, movement and leakage. Similarly, whenever you are sealing any kind of perimeter system, you need to always think about fire, leakage and movement capability. So obviously our National Building Code of India clearly says that we need to use the right fire stopping specifically to seal these kind of weak link which can be a problematic or a disaster for the fire accident. Okay, so you can refer to NBC 2016 to see what you have to do under passive fire stop solution. And that's why now I Priya remember, I have seen a lot of architects talking about UL standard which is underwriter laboratory and ASTM standard which is American Society of Testing and Material. But uh, I, I know there is Indian standard as well which talk about fire stop. Uh, can you tell us how Indian standards are linked to UL standards and ASTM standards? Definitely. So if you will see, we do have revised IS 12458 2019, which is a testing standard for through penetration. And that's why I highlighted any kind of penetrant which is puncturing the wall or the floor, electrical or mechanical, it need to comply with two very important parameter, which is hose stream test, fire rating, and now our standard clearly says the need of system compliance, like engineering judgment. 
So you need to use the system certificate, which is actually useful as per your site condition. And if you will take all these three parameters of IS 12458-2019, and if you will see UL or ASTM for through penetration, it completely are interlinked, and it is fulfilling the need of IS 12458 testing parameter for through penetration. So whenever you are suggesting or selecting any system, you can completely rely on UL our ASTM standard in the Indian condition. So Akash, I will just again going to highlight to our viewers that Hilti is not only creating the awareness on the fire safety, but we are assuring that we should be one of the imbibing parameter to save life, protect assets, and enhance the building performance to create a fire safe environment by creating fire safe buildings. Yes, protecting lives, and having safety is one of the biggest priority of Filti. And now, let me quickly summarize what we discussed in today's episode. We discussed first what are some of the reasons behind accident because of fire in Indian buildings. Secondly, we discussed balanced triangle approach for effective fire stop solution. Third, we discussed why passive fire stop solution is so, so important when it comes to uh, compartmentation. And finally, we discussed how NBC 2016 is linked with globally accepted standard guidelines and codes. And if you want to know more about Firestop, what we have done is we have posted a link in the description of the video below from where you can download Firestopping book. So do not forget to click on that. And that's it from our side in today's episode. I hope you enjoyed the live session with my colleague Priya Darshini. It was an amazing experience to interact with you all. Next episode, we will continue our journey of Firestop with Pia Dashni, sure. where we will discuss some of the critical applications of Firestop. So stay tuned, stay safe. Till then, take care of yourself, and see you all in the next episode.